Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I became a police officer because my mother is a police officer also, and I worked with her at the sheriff's department for eight years and. I went to court reporting school at the same time. And after sitting in court reporting school for a couple of years, I realized that I didn't want to sit in a courtroom and type all day. I wanted to be out in the field actually doing it. So here I am. Where my car is at? I think he's over back. Can you give me the clothing description again? Yeah, I'm going to be short. We get an officer yelling for help. She's in a foot pursuit. We're going to get there and try to help her out. Anybody have a perimeter set up yet? I'm on Travis and Bob. He's about two blocks down, two blocks uh, south of here. I just saw him on vault, Travis. You are not readable. You are not readable. We're coming to the same time as northbound. So we'll go to the next street from the west. There he is, right there. I'm going right behind you, back! I'm trying to Come on. Gabri! Gabri! Uh, Gabri! Okay. Uh, 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 we're fine. Stay still. Stay where you are. I'm going to check you for weapons. Roll that way. that bag in his pocket. I couldn't figure out where they were. I saw him running this way. And I came down this way, I didn't see him. I turned left, he hit that yard and doubled back in the alley. That's when I saw you guys go down. Do we know why he ran yet? He's a suspect in that air conditioner. Oh, okay. I don't know where the air conditioner went, but we should be able to find him. You not gonna talk to me? No. Well, you run really hard, it makes you sweat. Traffic warrants are no big deal, now you got evading arrest. Yeah, he didn't want to stop for me at all. So you got the vehicle leaving the scene from no, where the he theft was, was? He was coming this way, the fit the description of the vehicle. So I came back, and he says a, a blue shirt, but he just had a black shirt. So I tried to turn around, and he just hooked it. He didn't want to stop. So when he needs to turn here, he bailed out on me. Bailed out of the car and ran? I thought I was going to run into the back of that car. I was trying to help her when I was trying to help you. I saw you tackling me. I'm like, 
<laughs> he may not be the actor in the theft. They may just come around for some other reason. Really? Well, hopefully the complaint will identify him. Yeah. I was going to find out who you were. That was it. <laughs> you thought I was a suspect. Something I didn't do. This, that's how well, if you didn't match the description, guess what? You would have been gone, man. I know, but anyway, y'all told me something I, didn't, something I didn't do. Even that old lady said it, it wasn't even me. Well, but that's the only thing I was going to do to begin with. I'm but sorry, you haven't, you decided, you decided to take off on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, man, was it worth ripping your pants over? They're not mine. <laughs> They're not your pants. Did it hurt? Which fence did you catch it on? I have no idea now. Uh, oh, I would like to search you just in case, you know, because I don't want to go back to jail and just say they found something on me again. You want us to search you again? Yeah, because, I mean, I never did. I want y'all to because I ain't going to go back to jail. And well, if you know you found. have something on you, just go ahead and tell me. No, I don't have it. I just want y'all to search me because that's what happened the first time. I went to jail, and they said they found something on me 12 hours oh, later. Oh, okay. That's the reason I got charged with something. I went in for a warrant. April 29th, when I, when I was 12 hours there, I get my fingerprints taken. They said I had a possession control substance, which I didn't. Okay, well. That's why I'd rather y'all search me right now. If you don't I, have anything on you right now, you don't have anything to worry about. But it happened, it happened, th think about it. I don't want that to happen over again. They said they found something on me when they didn't. Well, we definitely know you're not holding anything in your underwear, because there isn't anything left of them. <laughs> I think you're okay. Oh, I don't want to hear them say something different in there. I did last time. Well, if you wouldn't run from the police, you wouldn't have problems like this. <coughs> you gonna puke? <coughs> That's been fun. Pretty. I guess you spit in the back of our car, too. I had to. What am I supposed to do? I'm trying not to. Ah, I'm getting all stuffed up and, man. Okay, Are you gonna run? You see that I'm giving you one to your grandma, okay? Okay. It's all the money there, everything you wanted. It's all going to your grandma. The only thing I'm taking is the ID and your social security number. Are you gonna leave the car here? Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, man. Hey, you realize she was just gonna ID you, right? They had half a percent on there. Are you gonna run next time? How far off the clean by then? Well, if you have another warrant, are you gonna run? I don't know. Okay. Good answer. So this guy ran from you for no reason, huh? That's what he said. He was afraid that you knew he had that felony warrant. Well, he said that I was stopping. The, he said he, the reason he was running was for um, the sticker. His inspection sticker? <laughs> yeah. Then he says, no, you know why I was running. That's what he said. That felony drug warrant, I'm sure, had nothing to do with it. I was just going to ID him. <laughs> My kids think it's pretty cool that I'm a police officer here in Fort Worth. I am pretty much a hit whenever I come to school. They always introduce me as, this is my mom, she's the police officer. And my mom, she likes it that I'm a police officer. She worries about me all the time though. She accepts the fact that I'm a police officer. And she's actually come and ridden out and seen what I do. And she thinks it's pretty neat. We're en route on a domestic disturbance where the mother called in saying her daughter came running out of a house saying that they were going to shoot her. We have no other information other than that, and we will see what happens whenever we get there. Jessica. Okay. Let's go. Okay, what's the deal? What's going on? My daughter was to run away for three days. We found her today. She told me she needed to go get her backpack and her clothes. I said, okay, we'll go and get them. She said, Mom, if you go up there, they'll shoot me. Or they'll pop you, I guess is the word she I used. Just go. Okay. So we got behind this school bus and she said, waited so all these girls got out flashing gang signs and things, but of course they're not in the gang. And uh, so Jessica and all these kids take off running. Of course, I take off running too, because I'm not going to lose my daughter again. I'm not going to do this. And she spent the night here. Uh, I'm not doing no. that. Right? Well, that. Okay. And I just needed help to get my daughter and get back to my car. It's not a very safe neighborhood, but when your adrenaline's running, you will run off and chase anybody. 
So my car's up there. Okay. You she said that me? they were gonna pop her or pop you. They pop me. That they pop me. If I show that. Okay. Which ribbon? Yeah. And how long has she been missing? She's been missing three days. We got her back today. Okay, and it's Super Seven. There's a police officer working on it. His I mean, name else. and stuff is in my car. Stay here. And I said, well, I guess they have to pop me because I'm not afraid of them. Maybe I should be, but hell will freeze over before they get my daughter. I will throw up every obstacle there is. That's just like I've told every idiot that I've seen on the way. If they know my daughter, they better forget they know her. It's done, 217 at 1659. It's hot. Can I go put on my stuff? No, you can't. Just keep your little happy bottom right where it's at until she's decided to let you go. Okay. Bye, thank you. Get your ass in the car, don't you cross the street. I was going to talk to her. I don't care what you're doing. She's Come here. Go. Come here. Kick their ass. I was going to talk to her. I don't care what you're doing. She's not calling my ass or nothing. Come here. What? What's going on with you? Nothing. Do you think everything's a game? No. Nah. Do you think this is all a game? You think that your mom likes running down after you, chasing after you? You go disappearing for three days. How do you think that makes her feel? What if one of your friends disappeared for three days? You didn't know if they were dead, shot what? How would you feel? Look this way. What? How would you feel? I want to care. Melissa could die. She doesn't care. I care. Why are you telling me all that? I don't care. I'm a mother who cares, and oh, I will well. fight everybody when it comes to you. You don't care about anything. You just care about your friends. Well, what happens if you get shot, you got and then going they're ahead. right there. They're all going to run and leave you alone, because they don't want to be anywhere near you if you're shot. You can lay there in blood and die, and they're not going to lift a finger to help you because they don't want to deal with us. That's what's down the road for you. Yeah, 166, your radio yeah, completely is. That's cut what's out. down the road for you if you keep going this way. Don, 217 at 1659. The call back. Oh, you think this is funny? There's no answer inside. I can haul your Copy little bet to jail right now if I wanted to. I can haul your butt to jail. Instead, I'm being nice and I'm letting you go with mom. How many times have you been down to juvenile? Never. Once. When? Well, officers did. Uh, no, Officer Spindle, your dare teacher, took you down there one day. For a visit? Well, this wouldn't be a visit. You'd be staying for a little while. Do you want that? No. Then you need to give your mom the respect. She I deserves. know. She need to quit tripping, though. No, no she's not tripping. You need to give her respect. You need to give us respect. You need to give yourself respect. I got Get respect. out of I that. Respect. I respect. No, you don't. No, if you had respect, you wouldn't be running with all these gang members. How do you know they're gang members? Well, let's just assume all of your friends are, because I no, don't know any quit. difference No, you need to quit. You need to quit. I'll tell you right now, half of these people that are standing out here that are your friends, they're all Sir Tracy. Yeah. So? You're not wanting to listen? I don't care. Get Mom. in the car. Right now. I gotta get my bag. That's fine. Get it in the car. Don't go across Thank the street. You. No, you go across the street and they'll probably Officer. arrest me because I'll probably... Officer. Say please. That's yours. That ain't my brush. Give it back to her at school. Is this her brush? I, she can go and get it. Get in. Yeah. Hey, the truth. Listen, where do you live? Yeah, on Harmony Drive. Okay, if I catch you over here in this neighborhood again, you're going to jail as soon as I see you. I'm going to give your mom a call and see if you're supposed to be over here. If you're not over here, your butt's going to jail. Well, I can tell you now, you got she's it? never to be over here. Right? Okay. Mom had a stick. She, actually, she had one of those old-timey nightsticks. And she's ready to use it on anybody in that house. Dude. Yeah. She made her daughter walk all the way back up here, too. Yeah, and she's just running with the wrong people. She's running with the gang. My dad retired from Fort Worth in 91. He uh, was uh, with Fort Worth for 27 years. And uh, he said, "No, you're not gonna, you're not, you're not being the police." He said he would poke one of my eyes out, so I couldn't pass the shooting test. So uh, he was pretty serious about it. I tried to do some other things after college, and uh, really felt like, <clears throat> you know, 
as much respect as I had for my dad, I, I went to him and I told him that this is what I wanted to do. And uh, since then, he's been real supportive. I stopped this guy probably uh, two days ago. He told me he lived in uh, Meadowbrook over on the east side. And I've seen him. He's living in Como up here in 5800 block on one of these streets. Doesn't have inspection, driver's license, insurance. Mary, 216, go ahead, sir. Six hours, sir. Ocean 13, copy traffic. Ocean 13, more. I'll take on your keys, sir, if you're being back out. In and out. Six and back out. Thanks. What's up, man? What's going on, sir? So, you got your driver's license insurance yet? Huh? I have been giving you a chance, but you're not uh, taking advantage of it. I was gonna go get it all Monday. I just bought it. So You've had all week to go get it. But I ain't been had no money. Huh? I haven't been had the money to go get it. What's your last name again? Right. Remember which name you gave me last time? Which name I gave you last time? Yeah, because you need to give me the same name because I got your information in the car. Yeah. I don't like it when people lie to me, all right? What's your last name, sir? Wilson. Wilson? Yes, sir. Yep, this is you. You need to come up with a Texas ID or Texas driver's license that's going to show me that this is your correct name and date of birth. You don't have to have it with you, but you have to, you need to have one. Which one do you have? I don't have, I don't have either one, sir. Huh? Let me have your wallet. I don't have one. Huh? I don't have All right. One. We'll do it the hard way. Get out and come to the back of my car. Let's go to Mary 221. Do you got any knives or needles, guns or weapons on you? Huh? All right, set on this curb right here till that other car gets here for you to set in. Sit in. Now, what's your story, man? You need to come up with the truth. Huh? What is this? That's, um, eye stuff. Eye stuff? Okay, here, put it in your eye. You tell me you fix them, put that stuff in your eye. That dirty brown stuff does not get the red out. How much money do you have here? Four hundred something dollars. Four hundred and something dollars. Why do you have all this money on you? Huh? Why do I have all the money? I can't carry money. Yeah, you can. I'm just trying to figure out where you got. Did you just cash? I mean, that's a simple question. I just cashed my check, sir. Um, my mother gave me this money to go buy her a new car, sir. I've been selling dope, sir. That's the reason it's in uh, 20s and 10s. I mean, you know, I'm just looking for one time to get the truth out of you. Did you really not remember me pulling you over the other day? I didn't remember that you You just hoped I wouldn't remember also, didn't you? How do I know that's your real name? How do I know? Oh, I'm supposed to believe you? No, but I mean, I'm Because you lied to me. So how do I know? Texas driver's license, Texas ID number. I don't have one. Huh? I don't have one. So. OK, whenever I find you dead in the ditch, how am I supposed to know who you are? I want you to sit in the back of this car so I figure out what's yeah, going on. On the car. Making sure you didn't grab up anything out of the sergeant's car. Put your hands behind your back. You better lay down. You understand me? You understand me? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't going. I'm sorry. 
That didn't make any sense. You alright? Yeah. Okay, we'll throw them on the side. Put your knees up. Put your knees up that way. Lift up. Raise up. Okay, go up on one leg. Here you go. Let's go to this side. I'm sorry. Huh? You broke my radio, man. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Sit down. Fill out a replacement request for a new mic. Well, Monday, you work Monday. You go down to the radio shop and get you new. All right. Thanks, Sarge. Finally got a good ID on him. He had eight little local traffic warrants for his arrest. He had have told me about those in his real name four days ago when I pulled him over. We would have gone before court down at the Where's municipal the court building. With you, sir. He would have been out in 30 minutes. Now he's going to jail for evading arrest or detention.